More and more people are getting in the habit of reading ingredient labels, labels when shopping for groceries and personal care products. But there's a good chance most of us never, ever read labels when we buy toothpaste. Am I right? Consumer problem solver Connie Thompson has a breakdown of what you're putting in your mouth. Do Connie. you guys read your no, toothpaste labels? Never. Well, I know I shouldn't ask you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> toothpaste is one of those products where the marketing on the box is what gets our attention more than anything else except maybe the price. But the next time you brush your teeth, researchers at Consumer Reports say take some time to review the ingredient listing on the toothpaste tube. If you have an older tube of Colgate Total, check the ingredients. If it has triclosan, Consumer Reports says toss it. Triclosan is an antibacterial that might help prevent gingivitis, but is also linked to potential hormone disruption. Endocrine disruption, as well as impact on immunity and increase in antibiotic resistance. Triclosan was banned from hand soaps and body washes in 2017, but is still technically allowed in toothpaste, although it's essentially gone from the market. Colgate's new Total SF toothpaste is triclosan free. So what should be in your toothpaste? The first thing people should look for in a toothpaste is fluoride. Fluoride will help decrease tooth decay. Other ingredients include baking soda or sodium bicarbonate, which may help reduce plaque, and hydrogen peroxide, which can act as a whitener, although some experts say it's not concentrated enough or on your teeth long enough to make a noticeable difference. Then there are abrasives, calcium carbonate and modified silica, used to help remove food debris and surface stains. And if your teeth are sensitive to hot and cold, some toothpaste contain desensitizers. Use regularly ingredients such such as sodium citrate, casein phosphopeptide, and potassium nitrate might help relieve sensitivity. There's also sodium lauryl sulfate, or SLS. That creates foam to help circulate toothpaste into the spaces between teeth. How do you know which toothpaste is right for you? I usually say the one you won't mind using. And using at least twice a day. Some toothpaste contain the ingredient xylitol, which when combined with fluoride might prevent cavities better than fluoride alone. But if you have a pet, be aware that xylitol is extremely dangerous for dogs. So make sure that toothpaste stays out of their reach. I envision a dog standing on the sink oh, licking oh, a tube God. when I yeah. see yes, that. I don't know if that See, I don't envision that at all, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Thank a good you. thing. Thank you for the warning, though. That was odd, wasn't that. it?